Live and work together in family packs of up to seven birds, earning them the nickname the Wolves of the Sky. Native to the arid desert regions of the southwestern United States, as well as Central and South America, Harris's hawks will work together to find food in this harsh landscape. If you picture the desert, there's not a lot of good places to perch and look for prey. So if Fiddle did find maybe a soft spot on a hat that she perched there, and if one of her family members wanted to help her out, they would fall at their feet and sit on the shoulders and backs of that first bird. This behavior is called stacking, a very creative name, and there's been accounts of up to four birds tall on a hair's top stack. It allows them to have extra sets of eyes, skin for their favorite prey, jackrabbits. Normally, it's really hard to catch a jackrabbit, especially if you're the size of little noodle here, a jackrabbit could be twice more weight. However, these birds have it down to a science. One to two pairs of hawks will chase after that jackrabbit. They'll flush it around rocks, through bushes. They'll even go as far as to chase it underground, flushing it through its burrow and into the waiting towns of their family members, just like so. Through that burrow, into the waiting towns of their family members. And just like wolves, the young get to eat first so they can grow up to be nice and strong. The young Paris hawks will stay with their initial family groups for three to four years, helping to raise the next set of chicks before going out and starting a family group of their very own. Well, Lulu, you have been a fantastic job, but I do believe that is your time to head on home. You guys are doing such a good job today, she doesn't even want to say goodbye. Well, there we go. Thank you, Noodle, for teaching us all about family bonding. You can give her a round of applause. It's a pretty tough world out there. Any other speaking?